That's one. Got him? There we go. How is it? Good one. Big and chunker, dude. That's, not great, but it, yeah. That's a chunk. Greg Huff here out on Milak. Uh, Halloween day on a smallmouth bite. You're about to get hooked up. Got a little tube tied up on a short drop shot. First fish of the day, and it's a chunker. It's a hot and heavy morning bite here in Malax Lake. That is a football. You guys are out here today. Oh. They're trying to catch fish. They're trying to get one at a time. Nothing like football season bass. You know, they're just trying to get them fish in the pole. Nice healthy chunker here. Just gonna let this one go. There's more where that came from. Woo! We got it started. Doesn't want to horse this one in. Doesn't want to horse this one. Lot line. He's using lot, using lot line. <laughs> I'm out here on Mille Lacs Lake in northern Minnesota with Jason Homer from Bass Utopia. We got word of a pretty good smallmouth bite here on the end of fall. The water temp's about 44 degrees right now, so we're going to have to go with a pretty slow presentation. Um, just hit uh, daylight here, so we're going to try a few things. We're throwing jerk baits and tubes. As soon as this fog wears off, we're hoping that they're really going to heat up. Mainly going to be targeting some, some mid-range rocks, anywhere from three to probably seven, eight feet. Big rock wings running right underneath us here, so hopefully we can get a couple early morning bites. I would suspect that it probably won't be real hot and heavy here in the beginning, but uh, hopefully it heats up as the uh, some of this fog burns out and hopefully some of the sun comes out, so see what we can do. I'm hung up. Staying on it. On the board. Not a big guy, but a couple pounds. There we go, that's a good one. Just again, a really soft tube bite. Really pretty finicky, but we found a, one little area. There's a rock reef out in front of us here, but there's also a little bit of deep grass mixed in. That's a nice, healthy Mille Lacs Lake smallmouth right there. Look at the shape of the tail, right up to just a thick body. I mean, that tall's my hand almost. Just a healthy, beautiful fish. I thought that was gonna be a lot bigger than when I set the hook. Man, what a weird, weird bite though. Just like, it's just like you feel pressure, and you re start reeling a little, like real slowly, and the pre if the pressure stays on there, it's a fish. <sighs> that one felt like, yeah, that one was definitely. Oh, monkey! It was sitting on the bottom, hardly moving it, and then I just picked up the slack and it started running. Look at the color of that thing. That thing's been eaten up. Another nice Mille Lacs Lake fish. There's a rock reef out in front of us here. There's also a little bit of deep grass mixed in. What's happening, I think, is those those bass are relating to a little bit of that green vegetation. And uh, it seems like every time we get around that, we're getting bent. So we haven't found the big giants yet that we know are here, but it's a good start. And kind of telling us, at this point in the morning, what they're keying on, and then what we're gonna need to do to try to try to get more fish in the boat as the day goes on. I think once the sun, which is starting to break through, comes out, it's really gonna get crazy out here. That sun's gonna shine. Like the top of the Chrysler building. That's an Annie reference. Yes, it is. I'm gonna catch some big small mouth. That's your bottom dollar, that big small mouth. Fight with sun. Sun will come out. In 10 minutes. That's your bottom dollar in 10 minutes. Oh. Or 10 seconds. It's not every grown man that can bust down an anti No, no. It takes, it takes some confidence in your masculinity for sure. Yeah. I am quite masculine. You might have noticed that. Before. There's one. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. donkey call. That is a donkey. A little bit four pounds poly. Hey, look at the gut on this thing. Look at that. Pig. See that little horn, uh, little horn looking thing right here? That's from them digging down in the rocks for crayfish. That is a chunk. I mean, that is a, look at the belly on this fish. You don't see that on smallmouth very often. I'm actually gonna get a bait on this one. Five, three. That is a tank. Donkey, man. That is a donkey. Look at that tank. So Yes, that's what we come to Mille Lacs Lake for, right there. Oh, That was one of those light pickups and I was like, oh, too late. There's one. Oh, he came off. Oh. Doggone it, that was a good fit. Oh, what happened there? Oh, whoops. Stupid, I'm so stupid. I'm hung up. Well, I'm hung up all the time. Man. That's probably the shape of that head. Yeah. 
Big one. Oh, were you just? Oh, I think it's a toad. Were you just coming off of a snag? Oh, it's a big. Oh my gosh. Look at this donkey. <laughs> Look at this fish. Oh <laughs> Wow. Big and wow. Putting a waypoint in. Look at that beast. <laughs> Look at that football. It's not like it's 24 inches long, but it's fat. These bigger fish are not hitting the tube the same way. They are pounding it. That is a... <laughs> Give me some reference. I'm 6'5", and this fish is like the size of my upper body. That is a beautiful small one. These things are just tanks. 5'1", second five pounder in about 10 minutes. We definitely found them. Now it's getting fun. Ah. Right on the waypoint here where Homer got the last one. He just broke off, so I'm gonna see if I can't uh, poach one from his spot. Finally got smart and tied on a green pumpkin tube, and I got one. Yep. Yep, right on your spot. Oh, I got a walleye. That's a big walleye. That's a big walleye. That's the biggest walleye I've ever caught. Green pumpkin tube, you never know exactly what you're gonna get. That's a nice walleye. Four or five. Well, that was unexpected, but kind of fun.